from all around you long. I'm here to tell you how football is strong. We're the best. Good morning and welcome to the GDFL Netball Show, uh, grand final version of it. Uh, joining us on the show today, we've got Amanda Grant from Bellpost Hill. Welcome, Amanda. Morning, Faye. Morning, and we've got Donna Francesi from the Anarchy Netball Club. Welcome, Donna. Morning, Faye. Morning, Amanda. <laughs> Morning, Last Donna. show together, girls. Oh, so sad. Had a bit, oh. a bit to get through, so we'll, okay. we'll get started. Um, just firstly, a big congratulations to all the GDFL best and fairest players for each grade. We've got in D grade Shirley Warren on 31 points from Winchelsea. Uh, C, C grade Nicole Jordan on 26 points from Bell Post Hill. Um, B grade, we've got Natalie Ramsdale on 27 points from Werribee. And A grade, we've got Casey Carroll on 34 points from Bell Post Hill. Um, we're just gonna have a quick look at an interview that Donna did uh, post game last weekend. So it's over to Donna and Casey. Margaret Webb medal, congratulations. Thank you very much. Um, surprise win? Yes, very big surprise. Well, it can't be too much of a surprise because you've won the BFL and the GFL. So what's so surprised about it? The triple? Um, no, I think um, the calibre of players in the GDFL that I've come up against, I was pretty, I was pretty privileged actually to win it, but very surprised because I um, have come up a lot of tough competitors, so I was very happy with it. What did you think the difference was between the, the high levels to the GDFL? Because we are seen as a lower level. What do you think? Um, the only difference I can see with the GDFL is uh, there's a big difference between top five and the rest of the teams, um, but you still get those competitive games that I used to get in the GFL. Um, so, you know, they've got some really great players here. So we're really up there, aren't we, really? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, absolutely. I'll go away with you on that. Well done. And as I said, well done again on your great win. And we can't wait to see you back in action next year. Thanks, Donna and Casey, for that. Um, over to the next interview that uh, Donna did for us with Danny Stewart. It feels fantastic. It was so disappointing last year to miss out and to be there. It feels so good. And I suppose by you and with you and all your other players, that would have been one of the things that egged you on today? Yeah, um, the girls that have felt it from last year really, we were kind of a bit nervous from last year and we were like, please don't have a repeat of last year. It was so disappointing. Um, but And then when it got to the third quarter and it was so close, I thought, oh, come on. So we just had to dig deep and credit to all the girls on court. They worked fantastically and we come away with a good win. Tell you what, you got off to a really, really good start there, but then Bell Post Hill, they hit back and then you guys seemed to step up a notch. Every time they came back at you, you went forward again. How did that feel? Um, really good. That's what I said to the girls after the game, just talking about it it just shows that we have that character and that maturity if we are, do come to a slum we can then dig deep again and go ahead for it so it was really good to have that happen and you personally on your game fantastic game at center court as you always do i must add how was it playing against casey carroll the gdfl best and fairest I'm um, really good. She's a great player um, and I love a challenge every week. So you always want to come up against the best. So it's really good to play the best. It only improves your game. So um, congratulations to her for winning and it was great to play her. Well done. And also your defensive work. I tell you what, your defence really held up to well today, didn't they? Oh, fantastic. Um, especially Amanda Wilson. I think in the last few weeks she's come in leaps and bounds and what we've been working on at training, she's just putting into practice. Um, she's working really hard out there against the tall defence and everything like that. So it's really good. And her and Olivia are mixed Fantastic. I tell you what, and, and you're right there because Olivia, I tell you, with her in the background, like it doesn't matter if you miss it, like, she's always there to get the rebound. That's exactly right. And I think um, Amanda likes that confidence around her. Olivia brings a lot of confidence just into Amanda's game. So that's where it helps us as well. I also found that you guys talked really well on the court. You're always talking to one another, backing one another's up all the time. Is that a good feel when you know someone's there behind you and talking to you all the time? Yeah, definitely. And that's one of the things that we try and work on all the time. Even if um, we're not talking about anything, just be talking and make sure you know where each other are on the court, always have backup and things like that. So that's what we try and work on a lot of as well. Sort of like talking on a good night drinking, really, isn't it? Oh, we're really good at talking, especially when we've had a few. <laughs> Excellent. And coach must be happy. Oh, definitely. Um, the whole club's happy. Um, we've got a lot of girls in finals from our juniors all the way through to the senior clubs. Um, I think we only just missed out on B grade in the senior division. So we're wrapped as a club and we're looking forward to next weekend. So what do you think's on for this week, like at training and, and such? Will you settle down? Will you take it easy or or do you think you'll train hard for the first maybe um, training session and then maybe the second you ease off? What will you do? Um, we'll probably just take it as we do every week. I mean, it's just another week, Liz. We try and do, try not to build it up as much. We just want to play it as we're going into another game. Um, we all know how to play netball. We just have to keep our heads steady. Um, it's all about possession. So we'll just might work on a bit of that at training and just really have a good bonding session together. Thanks, Danny and Donna, for that interview. Now over to Donna with the next interview with Olivia Mitchell. Olivia! 
Olivia Mitchell, Werribee Central's. Well done, uh, done on a great win, Olivia. Oh, thank you so much. It was hard, but yeah. <laughs> oh, fantastic game. I have to admit, down in defence, you killed them. You really did. I felt like it was just too hot and everyone was sort of like digging deep for the last quarter. And when it, the scores were sort of on and off, on and off, I felt, oh, crap, let's go, girls. And then Danny, our coach, was just like, yep. Because it was pretty up and down all game. But I tell you what, the way you moved, you watched the ball really well. And the way you took over centre court when it was going down into attack for their, them, you just read the play really well. And then you shot back to defence and, and kept Kim Martin out of the game, basically. Yeah, thanks. Um, it was hard. Like, a lot of training had to go into, like, with finals. We pretty much train almost every day. And being in state team as well, we have a lot of expectations on us in defence. So we have to learn how to, like, quickly change our pace and stuff to yeah. the gameplay. Well, I tell you what, it was just a fantastic by you and all the girls and congratulations on, on your win and you've got Winchelsea next week. Oh, yeah, tough game. Woolley is actually in our Hume, one of our Hume coaches, so should be a good game. Interesting. A lot of championship girls and a lot of Hume girls versus Hume girls. So. And, and how do you think you'll go against those attackers? Oh, pretty good. <laughs> Last week we sort of, we were with them and then we sort of dropped off, but I reckon we could do it next week. Well, I'll tell you what, our grand final's a totally different ball game and I uh, wish you good luck for next week and on a good game today. Well done, Olivia. Thank you so much. Thanks, Donna, for all those interviews that you did at last week's games. Um, we'll be back after the break with a couple of special guests.